What is up you guys? So if you haven't seen some of my recent videos, it cost me over a hundred dollars to fill up my Tacoma on full here with these outrageous gas prices. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over some things that are going to help us get better miles per gallon. So I've been a Tacoma owner for a long time and on my old truck, I was getting like 16 miles per gallon because I did have bigger tires in a lift and some other things. But on this one, I'm getting about 18 and that's because I do have my stock tires on and it's obviously combined city and highway. So the first thing that's going to have the biggest impact on your miles per gallon is going to be your driving habits. So maybe, you know, if you're jumping the gun on those lights, pressing too much on the gas, going too fast, even braking too often, and then obviously re-accelerating because that's what comes after braking. All these are ways that are going to affect your gas mileage and it's basically the biggest thing. Even if you have a super economical car and you're just flooring it all the time, you're not going to get good gas mileage. So that's basically the first and most important thing that's going to affect your MPG. So coming to the hood, the next one is going to be your intake filter. Now on the Tacoma, it's right here. So here it is, and if yours is super dirty and super old, my, I, mean, I mean, my truck's only two months old, so it's not going to be dirty at all. But if yours is super dirty, this can actually affect, you know, how much oxygen is going into your engine. And on the same note, there's also performance intakes that you can buy that will actually help increase, obviously, performance and MPG. All right, now it's coming to the tires. You want to make sure your tire pressure is always monitored. My specific tire size, which is 265, 70, R16, it should be at 30 PSI. And maybe yours is at 32, obviously, depending on your tire size. But uh, mine's looking good. So when you fill it up, you want to take into consideration if it's a cold day, you don't want to put too much because on a hot day, it's going to be obviously a lot over. Take into consideration on that, but it shouldn't be a big deal because your, your tire pressure is going to fluctuate anyways. But just keep it over that 30 that it says. And if yours says 32, I just like to keep mine at 33. And the next one still with the tires is going to be your actual tire size. So on my old Tacoma, I had some huge 265, 75, 16 off-road tires. So they're pretty big. They're BF Goodridge. And you can actually get them using the link in my description below. Actually, one of the reasons why I haven't upgraded yet is because how much it affects your MPG. So as soon as I got bigger tires on my old truck, my miles per gallon went down like one or two right off the bat and it affected it a lot. So that's one of the reasons why I just haven't upgraded yet on this specific Tacoma. So the next one is you want to make sure you have good alignment. When you're driving your truck, if you feel that your alignment is a little bit off, Maybe you got a lift or you tweaked your tires in some way, going off-roading too much. Make sure your alignment is looking good because that can also affect your tires' longevity. It wears them out in certain areas quicker than others, and it can also affect your MPG. All right, so another one is when you hop in your truck and you go ahead and turn it on, let your engine idle just for a little bit because your truck works best when your engine is warm, and that's when it's at peak performance. So another one is going to be having a bed cover right here. I have one you guys can go and get using the link in my description below, which is going to be the same one right here. And it's soft and it's a trifold because the wind won't get caught in your bed and now it'll just slide right over. It's going to be a little more aerodynamic and for that reason, the miles per gallon is going to be a little bit better if you have one of these. And the last thing that I came up when I was doing some research is just make sure you don't have too much stuff in your Tacoma. I know a lot of you overland guys love to keep a lot of stuff in your truck, which is cool, you know, if you're going to be going on the weekend or something like that. I like that. But if you're a person who maybe goes like once a month or once every three months like me, off-roading or camping, and uh, you always keep your stuff in your truck, just try to take it out. You know, the less weight, the better. And especially if you got like water and a whole bunch of other stuff, you may not need all that right now. But when you go camping, you can go ahead and put that back in. If you guys got any tips on how to improve your miles per gallon that I didn't mention, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and we can all benefit because these gas prices are killing us right now. I just filled up. You can see right here that it's on empty and it's been basically only one week. And you know, usually, you know, if I'm working and driving wherever I'm going and my tank goes down every week, that's okay. It's usually like 65, 70 bucks max. But right now it's at $110 when I fill up. So that's pretty hefty. I'm trying to do as much as I can to get my MPG down. But hopefully these gas prices just go down, especially here in Southern California. They're killing us out here, man. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.